walking out last night was step one for the mid-season deep clean of the trailer. Step two will be disassembly. Before the initial rinse, I'll sweep out the residue that's gotten underneath the floor mats. Soapy water, an assortment of brushes, lather, rinse, and repeat. A lot of dirt and debris also winds up in the vents. These need a thorough cleaning as well. Some areas are a bit more stubborn than others. For those spots, a stiff bristle brush comes in very handy. The stiff bristle brush is also ideal to clean the ramp surface. The stiff bristle brush is also ideal for scrubbing the trailer floor. Give the door jam area a good wash as well. Gates, mats, and all the other interior components can now be washed as well.
tack room walls stay nice and clean however the floor still does pick up dirt and dust so the floor mats were taken out of the tack room and the floor given a thorough washing after drying overnight inside the trailer is all nice and clean and back to new looking In Ontario and many of the northeastern states, salt and brine used on the roads in wintertime cause a great deal of damage to trailers and wiring. Every year when this trailer gets its mid-season deep clean, it also gets booked in for an application of crown rust control on the undercarriage. As a further preventive measure, I take a small spray can of the same crown protectant and apply it to the inside of the trailer along the corners and in between the seams of the floor panels before the mats go into place. With the trailer interior now clean, it's time for an exterior wash. Washing the roof cap might seem like overkill, but remember that any dirt up, up top here is going to run down onto the nicely washed exterior surfaces. <laughs> 